everyone, I'm Rohan Agarwal and I'm running the developer preview app on my Lumia 920 and just about now I've got the update over here as you can see there's an update that's ready to download I'm going to select download and I think it's going to take quite a bit of time because it's Windows Phone 8.1 from what I think so I'll see you guys when this is updated. Okay, so when Microsoft says that uh, Windows Phone 8.1 is a huge update, they're not wrong. And over here I have this Lumia 920. This is about more than a year old device. And uh, it's currently running the Windows Phone 8.1 developers preview. So the first thing that I noticed was that the transitions are a little bit different. Uh, over here, I mean, that one was just the same. But uh, if you go back, uh, if you go back and forth, it closes like that and it opens up like that. So that's a little bit of a change. The Wi-Fi icon over here that has been shifted. Uh, also, there's this notification bar uh, yeah, right there. Now, I would agree that it's okay. You can see it's it's really smooth and. The good thing over here is that when you drag down, you can see the amount of battery left in your phone and the date as well. And over here, here I have no notifications. However, your notifications will actually pop up over here just like any other operating system. These are the four toggles that uh, you can set as per your liking. And there's one other feature that makes this phone look lot different than Windows Phone 8 and that is the start screen background photo. Now over here if I choose this little photo of uh, paper black which is amazing uh, that actually comes in the background and as you can see this is sort of like it doesn't move much but it moves just a little it's it's a, it's like a parallax effect if you will um, this runs absolutely well. Um, then the, the, another fe the other feature over here is the multitasking menu. Now over here, as you can see, it's, it's not much different from what it was in Windows Phone 8. However, there's slide to quit apps, so that runs well, I'd say. Um, there's one little glitch that I can see. Uh, over here for me, the store is not available. I don't know why. Uh, there are code eight zero five eight zero one F seven. I don't know what that means, but uh, I think that's something bad because a lot of apps need updating, from what I understand. Because, for, for example, here WhatsApp now it has fifty three notifications. So in essence, it should actually show at least five or ten of them over here, but it is not. So obviously, it needs updating. Now, I don't know why the store isn't working. Probably, you know, there's some glitch that needs fixing that'll come in, you know, some subsequent update or so. But uh, I can't particularly comment on that right now. Apart from that, um, well, everything seems fine. It, it seems a tad bit faster to me. I mean, the transitions are, are a bit faster. Um, and, uh, well, now it's, it's just about. 30 minutes old now. I've been using Windows for 8.1 for just about 30 minutes, so I'm not sure about everything. There's something new called Advertising ID. I don't know what that is, but uh, probably you know it's, it's it has something to do with the way the developers uh, interact with with us. It, something and there's something called Project My Screen. Well, I think because this phone can't project your screen with a wireless connection. I'll have to connect it with a USB, but even that's good, right? I mean, at least there's an option. Also, there's one more thing. Um, storage Sense is some new new uh, storage application in Windows 8.1. And what I realized was before updating, my phone actually had just about 19 GB of space. And uh, this update has cleared about 900 MB of space. Uh, I don't know how it does that, but that's good. Also over here, um, notifications and actions. Here you can change. Suppose, for example, I don't want rotate 
rotation lock over here so I could set brightness or camera or flight mode or location or any of these. Now I don't know why Microsoft has not put in an option for cellular data and uh, that according to me, I mean in my opinion that's sort of stupid because I mean it's good if there's an option. I, I understand it's not there on uh, iOS as well. Uh, Android will like, I don't know because I don't use an Android phone. I only have um, an Android tablet. But uh, I think it should give an option for that. Uh, I don't know what the reason might be for them not giving their option to us. But uh, nevertheless, we have the shortcut right here. So, you know, you could toggle it from there. So it's, it's no big deal. So, so yes, there are some cosmetic changes and there are some uh, big, you know, uh, software overhauls as well for example this notification center but overall this looks very nice also uh, there's something called Cortana the new voice assistant of Windows Phone 8.1 however uh, it's not available in some regions and uh, it's supposed to be triggered by long pressing the search button and as you can see for me there's no Cortana because in India it's not yet available so I'm actually just talking to my Windows phone and it's native Nokia uh, story and it's native uh, voice command system so I think that's pretty much it I'll try to reboot my phone and see if the store works but uh, I, I don't know if it will so you know let's see so that's it I'll soon come up with a compare comparison video between uh, Windows Phone 8. Okay, so what I've done over here is uh, change my region settings to US and my language settings. So I have Cortana. Now, Cortana is uh, absolutely smart. It did detect everything that I said very easily and uh, it got me some good results. So that works absolutely fine. And here, if let's say I ask her, what am I doing this weekend? Oh, okay. It got women doing this weekend. But what am I doing this weekend? So, okay. You're free all weekend. Look, so I'm free all weekend, it seems. <laughs> and um, the other thing that I missed out on before is different sound settings for ringer and notifications plus uh, media so over here you know i can do this that's good vibrate on off that's absolutely it was an essential feature and uh, it has been improved here in windows 8.1 so that's good even after changing my settings to us i can't get power to the store that's uh, sort of bothering me I and mean, look you know, nothing's happening uh, go to settings and uh, I don't see anything wrong here so I, I don't know what's wrong and uh, just about in a few seconds it will give me that message where it can't connect and it will give me the same error so that's okay right now it just said we're having trouble connecting to the store right now try again in a while uh, i don't know apart from all of that this is actually running quite well so uh, i will try to keep on uploading stuff about windows phone 8.1 um so do check out bye bye